Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Action Force, Riot Warfare, Republic Guard Army Builder, and the Riot Gear Set. And these come in just a box style packaging with some really cool like watercolor style artwork. As you can see advertising the figure and the gear set. On the left side of the box it does say Action Force. On the right side of the box has that same artwork that we've seen on the front just in black and white. On the back of the packaging, we do got the Republic Guard file card, so feel free to pause it if you want to read it. And you can even cut it out of the packaging, which is nice. Then you got the action points that you could save up, so you can cut those out of the package, and a QR code to scan for additional Action Force products. On the back of the Riot Gear package, you get to see the contents of the package. You still get a action point that you can cut out on the back, and there is that QR code as well. With every Action Force figure, even... The army builders you get that nice action force stand with some peg holes and you got the slot at the top to fit the file card i really like these stands and how they're designed out of the package the republic guard comes with a pair of fist hands equipped we get a pair of trigger finger hands we also get a pair of gripping hands and finally we get the cupping hands where I've seen a lot of people do a lot of cool things like I've done the like the silent kill I've seen my buddy RG do arm wrestling so there's a lot of cool things that you can do with these support hands besides just support the front of a gun now one thing that I really like about these army builders that Valiverse does is we have a choice of ethnicity when it comes to our figures we actually get a african-american head with a baklava on and then the one that comes equipped is a Caucasian with the baklava. Basically, same sculpt. Here we have an up-close look at the Republic Guard. And again, the head sculpt's identical. We got actual blue eyes on this figure compared to the brown eyes on the other one. And I love how you can see the sort of the mouth underneath the mask. Nice little detail instead of it just being smooth. It actually looks like a guy wearing a mask. And the seam lines throughout this figure look pretty awesome. It looks realistic, and I love the texture that he that he chose for the black. That weird ch like square pattern gives off a nice tactical like shirt feeling to it. And it's throughout this black pattern. Uh, it, again, it looks good. Got wrinkles in the shirt. Uh, this is pretty much a base buck that we see throughout this line. Got the pouch there, elbow pads, got the gloves. Like a lot of sculpted in detail, and I love this army builder out of all the army builders this is my favorite because it can be used in so many different ways even got some texture in the pants got the knee pads got these sweet boots almost like german tanker boots looks really really good um but the reason i like this guy more than the others is because it can be used for like a swat soldier um it could go in with like your cobra figures because it's that black and blue i just really like this and uh these guys pose so nice diving into articulation the head's on a ball disjoint so his head can look down that far can look up that far so tons of articulation right there full rotation if you want even a little bit of attitude nothing too crazy his arms can get high enough to do a T pose got these awesome butterfly joints like these butterfly joints are the best judder judder the best butterfly joints that I've used on a figure in a while I mean look at that full-on crossing the arms and everything it's great like other figures example like SH figure arts for like the Naruto line a lot of the figures came with like pre-crossed arms that plugged in just to be able to do something as simple as crossing your arms like so. Um, we get the disc in the shoulder. Let me rotate this down. Get his arm right. So you get the full rotation out of it. Uh, we get the bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow. Let's see if I can get it to... Yeah, that's about full. 
wrist rotation and there's bends in every single pair of hands which is nice we get this nice ab movement and this stuff is like butter look at this looking awesome get some nice posing leaning you can lean forward this much you can lean back this much this is where you start getting that more natural feel with posing the figures you know just have them ducking and dodging and all that stuff I can imagine somebody doing some stop motion and making it, you know, look really awesome with these figures. Uh, the legs can do full Van Dams. There's drop down hips. They can actually got the thigh cuts. This guy can kick like crazy up there. Field goal beyond. We got the double jointed knees. Boot cut. Ankle bend and pivot diving into the right gear set we do get a knife it is casted in black and painted gray we also get the mx9 pistol that has the built-in silencer this thing just looks so badass i really like the riot gear set because it comes with my favorite rifle and that's ak-47 and uh this thing looks awesome the detail is ridiculously good you got the hole in the front for the effect piece you got the uh, banana clip or magazine uh, extended and you can really just pop it in and out and we get two additional magazines as well with this set we get the condor vest still looks awesome has some silver and gray painted on there it's all black comes opened up so you're definitely going to want to heat it up to try to get this to close um, you got the storage for the knife on the back storage for magazines on the front a very cool tack vest we do also get a extra belt that you can put on them with a the little loop we also get some thigh holsters uh got the one for the pistol fits right in there and strapping looks really nice just all casted in black and then this one's really cool because you get this nice little pouch super sculpted it's got texture on it and it, it looks awesome. It looks like a real pouch that's using molly strapping. And it looks like something you carry maybe some medical stuff into. Um, and it's just really well sculpted. Now, you're not going to have all that gear without a backpack. We get a nice, really, again, I can't say it enough. All this stuff is sculpted nicely. You got this uh, backpack that has the molly strapping. You got all the detail on it, the zippers and everything. Got the peg that goes in the back. Little handle you can use on top in case your man's down and you can drag him by that handle, which is cool, or just have him holding his bag that way. But another feature that Valiverse did to the Action Force line is actually made their backpacks usable versus just keeping them hollow and us just having hollow backpacks. Now, I did save my favorite till last because I love a lot of these pieces, but I love the helmets. I like the optics that are on there. This comes in four pieces. You got the optics, you got each little ear flap that you can remove. So you can really have your character wearing helmets without the flaps, with the flaps, without the optics, with the optics. You get that type of customization out of your action figure. And again, this thing just looks awesome. And if they don't want to be using the optics, you just unplug it, plug it back in on top so you can get them out of the eyes. Just a really, really well designed, well thought out helmet now the republic guard and riot gear set combo looks badass this guy looks like a swat guy ready to kick in the door and i could just imagine having a bunch of these guys and in this outfit it just looks really good you can change up the gun not all of them want to use ak's and all that stuff but it looks super badass everything with the kit was pretty easy the vest getting it to attach it was a challenge you had I, what I did is I really I heated up the whole part, kept this part away from getting the heat, heat up the whole part, and then I stuck like a little like paintbrush in there to expand the holes a little bit on both, put it in, and then I sort of held it in place until it cooled off a little bit, and it has stayed. So it looks really nice. Uh, that was the more challenging of the kit. The belt, you just heat it up a little bit, you put the feet together. Point the toes down and you just work it away up the waist. 
these just slid up the legs. So, I mean, pretty easy. It was just the vest was a challenge. Uh, the helmet looks super badass. It's just, I love the like night vision optics. And then when you don't want it to be using night vision, you just flip it around. Super cool stuff. Move his arm out of the way. You got the different magazines in the magazine pouches. So normally you saw like the 5.56, five, but these actually do fit the extended, like the 30 round mags from the AK. Pistol fits. Backpack looks awesome. Got the knife in the sheath. So, I mean, everything is great with this figure. And the color uh, for this, the kit on this speci specific army builder is freaking awesome. I like it a lot. I, of course, definitely went with the Republic Guard and the Riot gear because I wanted that police officer SWAT team look. And the two together definitely can make that happen. And then you add some mood lighting, you add some diodes, and you can have your, uh, Repu I was going to say riot guard, but you can have your Republic Guard kicking in the door to a bar, ready to crack some skulls. It looks amazing. I love what they're doing with their army builders. And the fact that he's balancing on one foot, he is balancing on one foot, kicking in that door is even better because a figure that has their balance game on point, it makes for some amazing photos and you, you you see it right right before your eyes. Sometimes I wonder why these figures come with stands because, again, the balance is so good with these figures. You see it right here. There isn't a bunch of flashing lights and stuff. I'm not bullshitting you. It is literally being supported by the one foot. You know, you just put it down here. Find that little sweet spot. And there you guys go. The Republic Guard can even balance enough to have a sprinting motion so he could be rescuing people, uh, going to attack an objective. Either way, you can get him to pose up in a nice running sort of sprinting position. These figures are nothing but fun. I love these figures. Sure, the vest had a little bit of issues with trying to get it on, but I found a way to make it work. And you heat up the joints. No big deal. Once you're doing all that stuff, it's like butter. You get to have so much fun with them. Get them into some amazing poses. Get them into some amazing shots. Like, these figures are great. They're fun to play around with. I mean, this is my third Action Force figure. Uh, this is the Army Builder with a weapon set. So it's like, or a gear set. And I'm just having a ball with them. I mean, look at this shot right here. I was like, I, I don't, you know, sometimes you're going to have casualties. So you might as well have some uh, blood effects in there and stuff. And he's under fire on, the, on top of that. These figures are badass and so much fun. And I'm glad I'm bringing these figures into my collection because it'll make other lines more fun as well. And really get those creative juices going when doing videos or, or taking some photos of the figures. They're awesome. I, I can't say it enough. I'm having a blast with them. And that sums up my unboxing and review of the Republic Guard Army Builder along with the Riot gear set. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. New to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And make sure you guys check out all the Valiverse information. We got the website, YouTube channel, all of that down below. So go check them out. And make sure you guys check out Toyco Toys and Collectibles. There's a website down below with the promo code to get free shipping on anything you see on the Toyco website. And make sure you guys check out the Toyco pre-order group so you can be in the know when it comes to collectibles especially a lot of the imports like sh figure arts storm collectibles just don't be paying that secondary market price for any action figure unless you absolutely have to so definitely check everything out i want you guys to have the best luck hunting keep on collecting and have a beautiful day